It's a pleasure to be back and I was so happy to meet many of you as part of the sales CXO roundtable here in Singapore. In fact, this is a format we plan to replicate across Asia, India and the Middle East. So I'm hoping I get to meet many of you. I'll have the pleasure and privilege of meeting many of you. In this round table, there was an interesting question that came up, which was primarily saying, hey, there is a lot of expectation among sales organization to sell more, sell more with speed. In fact, sometimes the mantra is close, close, close. Now, does that need for speed play truant to what we want to achieve is greater trust with customers. How do we balance these two? Now, a good way to approach this is to say, hey, can you control organization's expectations of you? It's not going to come down. They are going to expect more from you. They're going to expect far greater agility, far greater speed to close. So what you will have to think about is what we call your circle of control. Now, there are a few elements of circle of control within your circle of control as to how you can meet your sales organization's request for speed. First, of course, is what we say as work smarter, not harder. And when we think about work smarter than harder, I get reminded of a wonderful phrase. And this is actually a book. You can read this book if you want. It's called Who? not how. What that means is that if you have to operate at speed and scale, try and see who are all the other people in your team you could get to work with you, what is the internal orchestration, and how you could go ahead and serve your customers that much better. So try and see how you can manage with your team. The second element is, 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 is a phrase that I normally use in my workshops, which is a person who defends everything, defends nothing. So if you have to sell faster, you have to qualify better. Because if you qualify and focus on the right deals, that is when you would be even more successful. Lastly, working smarter is about leveraging AI. Now, AI is upon us. It's going to transform productivity. It's going to transform the speed at which we can execute. Think about your every day. How much of AI are you able to leverage? That becomes a game changer in how you can engage with customers better, how you could leverage data and insights to personalize your messages, and how AI can actually double your productivity. Start thinking about, am I spending at least 30 minutes to an hour with AI every day so that I can become a smarter, better version of yourself? So that is one version, one aspect of working smarter. The second aspect that you need to think about is primarily what we call as prioritizing value to gain speed. And here is where you need to start thinking about how much of business value am I able to create for customers that earns me the right to drive customer momentum. So am I able to create value, build a business case, showcase financial justification, provide the roadmap for change? All of that is all about acceleration. And the last element you need to think about is how do I get to much larger deals, right? Remember, activity is not a proxy for progress. Just because you're busy with smaller deals doesn't mean you're going somewhere. So you will have to start thinking about how do I create larger deals? How do I map multiple stakeholders? How do I make it effortless for my customers to understand me? Which means how do you get your customers to appreciate how you and your organization shows up on their measurable, monetizable results. And the last element, which is extremely important, I remember one of the managing partners in one of the uh, advisory firms telling me, Venkat, I want all of our partners to bring the firm to the client. 
right? And that is so true. All of you are part of an organization. Are you bringing the organization to your customer? Think about it. These are some of the elements that you can look at building speed and scale into how you engage with customers without sacrificing trust. Good luck. I would look forward to speaking to you soon. I would look forward to engaging and meeting you in our next sales CXO roundtable. Good luck.